Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Mary and I'm so happy to have you here for today's video where we're going to be reviewing and also sampling Lumi deodorant. For those who do not know what Lumi is, Lumi is a natural deodorant that has taken the internet by storm. Like chances are if you're watching this video, you've probably seen one of their commercials and you thought it was funny or clever or whatever and you're like, okay, let me go find a review, see if this actually works. I've been using Lumi for about six months now, so I'm here to give you like the goods, the bads, the honest feedback. I also went ahead and ordered a little sample pack of like five additional scents. So not only am I gonna be giving you a review on the Lumi scent that I've been using for the last six months, I'm also going to like give you live feedback on what these other five scents smell like. So this is gonna be really fun. The reason that I started using Lumi is because I'm trying to like cut out chemicals, like harmful chemicals where I can. I'm not someone who's like a total stickler about it, but if there's a way that I can easily incorporate natural products into my lifestyle while also not breaking the bank, I'm gonna do it. So I saw all these commercials for Lumi and I'm like, okay, that's cute, let me try it. And I had tried a bunch of other natural deodorants before and one, they were like really hard to apply. It was like like rubbing a freaking rock on your armpit, trying to get some of it off. And two, like half the time they didn't work or they irritated my skin. And so I kept using these really harmful deodorants and antiperspirants that are full of like aluminum and all these other things and your skin absorbs whatever you put in it. And I'm like, I don't like that. So here we go. So back in December, I ordered a two pack of the Lumi Warm Vanilla. I decided to get the like cream kind because all the reviews that I saw about the stick deodorant were kind of similar, that it was like kind of hard to get it off sometimes to get it off of the stick and onto your armpit. And with the cream, you can just like, you know, put it on your finger, rub it on your armpit and you're good to go. So I bought a two pack of these warm vanillas because vanilla is normally my favorite scent in any like beauty or personal care products. And I just opened up the second one six months in. So I think that a tube, a regular size tube would probably last me like eight or nine months if I was only using it on my armpits. But back about two months ago, I also started using it on my feet and on my butt crack because I saw in the commercials like body odor comes from these places from bacteria and I didn't necessarily have like foot and butt odor, but I feel like feet and butts don't smell good. And so I thought, why not put this? I just, are you familiar with a credit card swipe? I just put a little and I just credit card swipe it. That's TMI, but we're talking about deodorant. So like, I'm guessing you probably came here for that. So I'm going to show you the amount of Lumi that I use for my armpits, not for my feet or my butt, but for my armpits, I honestly only use about this much. Just a little dab will do ya. And then I will typically put it like this and kind of just spread it between the fingers. And then I go like this and I just rub it on and it rubs right in, and then I go like this, and I rub it on, and it rubs right in. Um, some of my complaints are the first like month that I used this, it did cause me to break out a little bit. It didn't give me a rash like what other natural deodorants had done, but it did like give me armpit pimples. I should give like a disclaimer at the start of this video that it's gonna be a little gross because we're talking about butts and armpit pimples. But again, like you're here to learn about Lumi, so I figure you're probably know what to expect. Uh, another con of this, I normally love vanilla. I normally love vanilla. I do not like this vanilla. I don't hate it. Like if I hated it, I wouldn't be using it. I wouldn't have bought more of different scents, you know, but I don't like it. It just smells like, I don't know how to put it. I don't like, if anyone has tried the vanilla and, and has a good descriptor for what this smells like, please tell me. It doesn't smell like the the vanilla that you're probably used to. It smells like old, not like spoiled or anything, just like old. I'm being careful of what I say because I don't want to offend anyone. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell fresh. 
doesn't smell fresh. I mean, that's fine because like once it absorbs after a little bit, you can't really smell it anyway, but it doesn't smell fresh. I will say that when I started putting this on my butt, when I would go to the bathroom and like, whew, you know, whew, drop, drop the trowels, I like, I guess it's hard at work down there or something because I would get a whoosh of this. And I guess it smells better than what butts smell like, but I but it just smells like like the Lumi vanilla for a while. And I'm not sure how I feel about that. Since I don't really need this on my butt, I don't particularly have like down there odor. I don't work a very strenuous job. I kind of just live in air conditioning 24 seven. I may stop using this because I'm not really seeing any benefit. And then I just smell like this. All the time but this doesn't prevent you from sweating you are still going to sweat it just makes you not smell bad i haven't been able to test this during the summer yet during the like triple digit east county san diego heat waves that we get sometimes where it's like 110 out here haven't been able to test it out to see what it's like when it's really really hot but so far i've have no complaints. I've never put it to the 72 hour test. I just have like, I feel like if you shower, you're washing this stuff off at the end of the day and therefore you should reapply. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna test out that 72 hour claim. Sorry guys, if you wanna do that, let me know. So that's kind of my review so far of the vanilla. Doesn't prevent you from sweating. The vanilla kind of smells weird. It made my armpits break out a little bit whenever I first started using it but it does a great job of blocking odor. It's really easy to apply. When you think of how long one of these tubes lasts, it actually costs you less than your traditional deodorant, or about the same, if not less than the same. Um, and you're not putting a bunch of really ugly, scary chemicals on your body. So those are my pros and those are my cons. And now let's open up the Lumi sample pack to see if these scents smell any better than the vanilla. I'm really hoping I can find an alternative to the vanilla because I'm just not a fan. So the scents that we have to try today are Twisted Lime, Jasmine Rose, Clean Tangerine, Coconut Crush, which I'm really hopeful this smells good because I love coconut, and Sweet Lily. So let's start with the Sweet Lily since that's in my hand. And these guys always have like a little thing on them, a little keep fresh seal what's great about these little samplers is they're good for like travel each one has less than an ounce in it so you can travel with them i feel like i need like something to like cleanse my nose palette it smells um it's not very perfumey so don't get your hopes too high but you know the like sweet pea scent from bath and body works a little bit of that i definitely like this more than the vanilla okay so we're gonna rank these and how much I like them and how much I hate them. Oh, I touch, I keep touching my nose with it. Okay, so, so far the vanilla is at the bottom and the sweet lily is at the, is at the top. I love that they have vegan and cruelty free like in big letters on everything because that's so important to like make that a standard, you know? All right, clean tangerine. And I'm just gonna like drop these on my arm because I'm realizing that um, if I try to like squirt it on the fingers, uh, I just smell the vanilla. The vanilla has a very strong scent. Clean tangerine also smells better than the vanilla. Um, I may like this better than the lily. I think maybe the vanilla was just a bad, was just a bad call. It smells, um, it smells citrusy, but not overwhelming. Again, you're not gonna get perfumey stuff. It's more like the La Croix, La Croix, you know, the fizzy water with the essence. It's more like you have an essence of orange than like an overwhelming scent. I'm realizing that the thing that I don't like about the Lumi, the thing that kind of just smells stale, I think that that is honestly their like base formula and that the vanilla just combines very strangely with it and it smells awful because I'm still getting like a whiff like a faint a faint aroma of whatever it is that I don't like but it's not as noticeable with the tangerine the tangerine cancels it out pretty nicely so I I think I'll put the tangerine second to the sweet lily I did really like the sweet lily But the tangerine is also awesome and I have no complaints. Now on to the coconut crush. I 
The coconut is so faint that it's like non-existent, unfortunately. I, I mostly just smell the, whatever the, the base formula is in this. This is like a step, a step above the vanilla, but just slightly, just slightly above the vanilla. I think, I think the vanilla was just a really bad decision. I do not recommend the vanilla. If you guys have tried the vanilla and you're like, whoa, she's crazy, the vanilla is awesome, drop a comment below, tell me how wrong I am, but I think that the vanilla just sucks. Sorry, not sorry. Next up, we have twisted lime. We're gonna put the coconut above the lime because the lime, I can't smell any lime. Like at least the coconut, it's like barely there. The lime, there's like nothing. There's like nothing. And I understand why, like, you know, lime, it's an acidic fruit. This is a natural product. They're not gonna use like, they're not gonna use like artificial scents. If they use something, it's gonna be the real thing. And I imagine that using like actual lime in this would make it very hard on your skin. So like, you know, that's probably why the lime is so faint, but if I can't smell it, you know, I can't pick it. Okay, last but not least, we have Jasmine Rose. I don't like this. This smells like soap. This smells like those like, you know, those little decorative soaps that you would find in your grandmother's bathroom. You don't use the good soap because those are for guests and we're not guests. This smells like those soaps. I don't want my butt smell like those soaps. I don't. So I think that the vanilla was just dethroned uh, for last place, but just barely. Yeah, it smells like those soaps. I'm gonna use it because I'm too cheap to throw anything away but I'm not gonna like it when I use it. So for those who were not keeping score, in last place, we have Miss Jasmine Rose. In second to last place, aka fifth place, we have the Warm Vanilla. Again, I'm too cheap not to use it, but I'm not gonna like it. In fourth place, we have the Twisted Lime. It does not smell bad, but the lime is very faint. Very faint, very faint. In third place, we have the Coconut Crush. Also faint, but you can still smell a little coconut, feel a little bit like you're sitting on a beach, just ever so slightly. In second place, we have clean tangerine. It just smells good. It smells summery, it smells fresh. You know, it's not very perfumey or anything, but you know, you're not getting that with Lumi. And in first place, we have Sweet Lily, which kind of, sort of, if I close my eyes and tilt my head and face just the right direction to the wind, it kind of smells like sweet pea from Bath and Body Works. It smells good. Have you tried any or all of these Lumi products? I would love to hear what you think about my review or if you were on the fence about it and now you're like, yeah, I'm all in for Lumi, let's go. Let me know, drop a comment below. I would love to hear feedback on how you like this review and this haul. I post hauls all the time here. This is kind of my haul channel for now. I don't know what my purpose of this channel, this is like my second channel. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but we're posting hauls here right now. That's a thing. This shirt is from like a recent light in the box haul that I did. We're posting hauls all the time. You guys are never coming back here, are you? Probably not. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video and I look forward to seeing you next time.